Brad Waddell stylistically kind of resembles a style to kind of beat Hinato in ways that Hinato kind of lost. When he no, fought he people, he couldn't. No, look, he got uh, beat up on the feet by Jose. He got beat up on the feet by Korean Zombie. He was actually winning the Brian Ortega fight. That was I remember they was both undefeated. He was actually winning that fight. I think he dropped Brian and hurt him and everything. And still, he made one mistake and left his neck out there and got submitted. Remember, he got tired. Yeah. So that's kind of funny. But Rafael beat him up on the feet. Jose beat him up on the feet. Korean Zami beat him up on the feet. But they're prolific strikers, though. But that's Brad Waddell come from a kickboxing background. I ain't saying he was the best, but I'm saying that's the only way he can win. But they had Brad's other so tools. Stiff, man. I know. I know. Like, them guys fast. And then he was beating up Rafael Dos Anjos on the feet, and Rafael started wrestling. Like, he had to wrestle to beat Hinato. So I just think that just shows Hinato's growth. I see him beating Brad by knockout or submission.